So, Andrew, do you believe the things about the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ? I acknowledge everything. Can I baptise you in the name of the Lord Jesus? Do you want to say why you're going to be baptised? To encourage other people? I repent of all sins. To receive the gift of uh, eternal life. And to enter the kingdom, most importantly. Amen. Amen. Uh, okay, if you like to lie on your side, it doesn't matter which way round. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Uh, anyway. Anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. If you, you're going to have to get right on your side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and bring the arm up so that it doesn't. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. And then. Okay. So. Squeeze that way. Okay. So we're going to baptize you. Let's squeeze a little bit from there. We're going to baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Let's just pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, please, please bless Andrew. And may really his desire come true that you will cleanse him from all his sin and that he will receive the gift, as he put it, of eternal life in your kingdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, David. Praise God. So, Andrew, how would you feel? Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord indeed. Yeah, no, the, um, uh, there's so much to put him into words, but uh, I myself have been looking to be baptised for yeah, well, a good few years now, but because of um, uh, commitments and things like that in this life, um, it is... Um, you know, that's why it's absolutely incredible meeting you today and having the experiences that I've had today. It's divine providence. It's uh, That's what my dad said, wasn't it? The hand of providence. Absolutely. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is. It's... it's uh, and my friend, I'm, I mean, I know that's why it'd be handy if, if you know, because I do uh, spread the gospel wherever I can, when I'm in Tesco's, when I'm in Sainsbury's, I'll speak to people, <coughs> excuse me, in connection with the word of God. And do you believe in God? And some say yes, and some say no, I, I definitely don't believe in God. But even, even those that don't believe in God, um, I'll actually... Well, maybe I'll read it. I said, well, if I give you a Bible, would that encourage you? I said, because it's, it's totally unbelievable what's revealed unto you. These words, and we, and, we, and, we, and we then search them deeply. Not, uh, I, I, I can't emphasize it enough. I just can't emphasize it enough. We have to look into the Word and realize that the Word of God, and it is the Word of God you're reading in, to be free and have peace in this world, but also to find eternal life by grace and by the gift of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, is is all contained within that book. And the only way you will obtain obviously anything from anything is by reading it. Mm. Software available. If, you, if people are too lazy to actually spend the time reading, you can go to purebiblesearch.com. You know, there's fantastic programs available for people. Um, not only Android or whatever, but computers and so on and so forth. 
when you have aids like that, you can search deeply through the scriptures. So, what's what's your take? Do you think on on approaching people about the Trinity and trying to show folks that uh, the Trinity is not a biblical view and all that sort of thing? What what sort of tack would you take on that? Well, there is only one. Is it mentioned? Is the Holy Trinity, the words Holy Trinity, uh, found in the scripture? Uh, we have the word, and it's been preached to all. And uh, there are many that don't want to hear it. There are many that don't want to know. And so that's why, it, it, you know, it, it's difficult. It is difficult. But, uh, you know, dropping tags or, or flyers or whatever, going around seeking souls to win back to Christ, uh, soul winning, and going through the scriptures door, you know, on a doorstep, showing people that, that, you know, eternal life is, but winning people back in, in this world now is very difficult because uh, you only got to look or walk down the street and what do you see? People with them, with their heads buried in a, a mobile phone. Mm. You even sit, I mean, you can go into, I don't actually go into McDonald's, I don't eat any of that sort of stuff, but um, if you go into McDonald's, you will see people actually sitting there with the children, absolutely unaware of their children, yeah. as long as they've got a nose bag or something put before them, which is totally and utterly unbelievable what they're feeding them. But And there they are, tapping away on Facebook or whatever, messaging this one, messaging that one. And you've only got to drive down the street and you can see everyone's plugged in. Yeah. Earphones and so on and so forth. So, <clears throat> if they were listening to an audio Bible, I'd say, praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah, but they're not. No. But yeah, we... Uh, but there's people like you who encourage me that there are a few people here and there. Oh no, there, we have a duty I mean, we are stewards, we are priests, we are kings, we, you know. I mean, First Kings, chapter 3, verse 7, I do believe, servant king. Take a look at Leviticus, you know. I mean, you haven't got to go through too many chapters of Leviticus to realise, my goodness me, nakedness. It's just... You walk into a shop and there it is in front of your face, you know. and and and. Uh, what, 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 what we have to realise is this world is a sinful world and it's blokes at work. Now, I have, out of about 15, 15 blokes, I suppose, something like that, 10, 15, I've given four Bibles now. Well done. And... Two of them have actually come back and said, my goodness me. They're Roman Catholic, by the way. Been brought up strong Roman Catholic. And I, and I, and I, I tell them, the apostate church, apostate church. It's the opposite. It's the opposite of God. And so when you give them just a few scriptures, such as I've said to you earlier, I mean, I said to a guy earlier in the laundry, do you think God would have respect of persons or not? What do you think about that? You said to a bloke in the laundry. In the laundry, as I was yeah. doing my laundry this evening. I don't know where he comes from, um, but somewhere, uh, like Lithuania or somewhere like that. And uh, <clears throat> he said, no, God, God, 
that's not right. God respects people. I, I didn't say people. I said persons. We know this is a truth when we are nothing but a vapour. What is it all going to amount to when your filthy gold and, and silver is, is collecting canker and decay? So would it not be better to have eternal life with the Lord who is the owner of all things including ourselves if God dwells within you and you're reading his word there is no doubt that one's glorifying the creator